Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I am having a quick look at the PyTorch implementation of Anime GAN V2. Well, what, what does it do? It, it takes images and makes them more anime-like, such as an image of your face. What do you need? Well, you need something with an operating system that can run PyTorch. And this will even run on CPU. So even though I'm using my NVIDIA GPU, you don't have to have one. You can just use your plain old CPU and away it goes. Ooh, nice, eh? Okay, so we've got some examples there. We've got some original faces in there. It, it turns them into the anime version. So we've got anime Bill Gates and all sorts of other people going on there. And if you want, you can even run this in Colab. We've got the Colab link there. This is quite easy. It, it says here, to start using this, press Control and F9 or Runtime Run All. Yeah, you can do that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna click Play because it's only one cell. It's only one cell. Even I can manage to click Play on one cell. Then I start and I go right Browse. All right, I'm gonna upload some files. Um, what am I gonna pick? Let's let's pick this woman here. There we go. It's it's uploading. It uploads the image. It starts doing things. There you go. 30% complete soon we will have an anime version of that image 64 70 81% come on we can we can get there 100% done excellent so a couple of seconds more and we should actually get the output of the uh, original one on the left Oop, there we go and the anime one on the right so there you go we've got an, an anime version that's that's what it does it takes vin images and and makes anime versions of them Awesome. So let's do this locally. Let's do this locally. Now they haven't got any installation instructions, so I, I have. There you go. Um, now you will, of course, need to uh, download it, Git clone, and then you can get the, the URL up here. Code, yeah, there, copied. Then you can just Git clone and paste that URL. That will download it for you. And don't forget to, of course, change directory into uh, your newly downloaded repo. Um, I am using Python 3.9 in an Anaconda virtual environment. You can use Python however you like. Uh, I would suggest Conda or Miniconda. You can download those by going to the Anaconda website, of course. And uh, once you've created your Anaconda virtual environment with Conda create minus minus name, I've called mine Anime GAN because I'm good at names. You will need to activate it. So Conda activate Anime GAN. There I am, Anime GAN activated all ready to go. Now, you'll need to install two things, basically PyTorch and OpenCV Python. PyTorch can be installed here. I'll show you here how you can do it. So PyTorch there, I'm using 1.10 Linux pip Python CUDA 11.3, and you can just copy and paste that in and away it will go and install PyTorch for you. That's fine. Let's do that now. There we go. Let's, let's install PyTorch done. PyTorch has been done, and then very much the same thing for OpenCV Python. Pip install, there you go. Awesome. And now you can do your test run, which is basically Python test.py, and you'll need to pass it an input directory, a device that can be CPU or CUDA, a checkpoint. Now those are downloaded in here, so you've got the weight, so you've got four checkpoints in there. I am using the Paprika one. And this example, it's basically the example from over here. There you go, so test, yeah, there. Apart from I am also adding an output directory and uh, specifying the checkpoints as well, just so I know what's going on. There it does. There it goes. There. So that's outputted into results paprika. So we can have a look in there. Right. There we go. So there is an anime face. If we have a quick look at their samples, uh, which one did I pick? I picked samples faces. <laughs> there we go. So there's the original one. And there is the anime version. So that's the, their samples. There we go. There we go. There's their samples. Right. We'll have a quick look at, at some proper samples, shall we? We'll have a look, quick look at some proper samples. Yeah, because I, I like to pick weird things. I like to pick weird things. So these are my samples. Slightly, slightly different. Not, not necessarily all faces. We've got a little house there. Got some Einstein and some rodents and some art breeder faces and some more rodents and... 3D rendering and things. So yeah, a little, little bit of variety there. Not necessarily always faces. Okay. And then we've got the, uh, the various different versions here. So I won't run it through because I have already run it through for you. So there we go. Let's pop back to the beginning. And then we can see. So this is the uh, the paprika style. So we've got the original face and the papri paprika face. As you can see, it adds a lot of red. Probably why it's called paprika. 
Yeah, yeah, you can see it's a, a bit darker, sort of smoothed everything out a bit and uh, added lots of red. Ideally meant for faces, so there you go, there's a, a quite a good an anime style face. That one's a bit a uh, bit dark, but hey, there we go, mouse. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, uh, that's, that's some very red feet. Let's have a quick look at all these different examples, so added a little bit of a, a crinkly look there so that's that's not quite as good but yes the red has very much come out very much smoother some some more faces there as, as you can see that's that's paprika it makes things red that's like off the original anime gan v2 tensorflow version uh, the, as you can see there the 3d renderings come out quite well that's the purples turned completely red but uh, that's a that's a very nice sort of anime looking style that has come out quite well poor old marmot Oh, that's yeah, that's quite interesting as well there. The, the change of the colours, yeah, yeah. It, uh, it definitely does best on faces. Whoops, Got my alien there doesn't change the alien very much. Buildings, yeah. Lipstick there has gone very red. That's that's quite a change there. That's a uh, yeah, yeah. Lots of lots of crinkles on faces. Adds crinkles to faces. <laughs> Adds crinkles to faces. Anyway, that's paprika. So let's have a look at some of the others. So we got uh, this one here. This is face V2. Go through these a little bit uh, quickly. So uh, there you go. As you can see, it uh, smooths things out a little bit. Yeah, got some quite good faces there. Even the even the little rodent looks all right. Very very smooth looking face. Kind of loses the eyes a little bit there, but yeah, that's that's quite a nice quite a nice anime style. Again, very good on the. 3D rendered image, quite good on the trees and landscape. Marmot goes a bit crazy. Very nice on faces. Possibly buildings too. There you go, that's that's quite a, an anime style one. Let's pop that back. And faces V1. Again, very similar. Slightly crinkly, slightly lighter. Those a lot more blurry on this one. So you can see you're losing quite a lot of detail, but sort of making it look, yeah, Different look works quite well on the uh, on the faces, yeah. 3D rendering, yeah. I, I like the 3D render again. And the faces again, yeah. The building, there you go. That's 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 quite a sort of watercolor light anime style. And then we've got this celebe style. So that's uh, quite a lot of smoothing going on there, and some fairly reasonable colors. I I think this is my my favorite one, the celebe style. So that looks uh, that looks quite good there, very comic book style. <laughs> there we go, and uh, that looks absolutely awesome to me. So yeah, yeah, that's that's coming out quite well on some of the smaller faces, curiously enough. And there, the 3D render again looks quite good, and landscapes also look quite good. These faces very very smoothed out. Yeah, very basic features, which is pretty good. Pretty good. So there we go. So that's that's quite nice. And of course, can you do it on videos? Yes. Yes, of course you can. So you can just take your video. There, so there's your example video. Yeah, yeah, just a, a witch <laughs> downloaded from uh, from Pixabay. There you go. Pixabay witch if you want to download your, your own witch. There we go. So we've got that and you just turn it into frames. So there are the frames. There you go. Whoops. Just got the different frames. Which frames? There you go. So you just style each frame individually. Then you'll have a big directory for the frames that are styled. There you go. Style frames. And then you can just tie them all back into your final video. There you go. One styled witch in an anime style. Scary, isn't that? Very, very scary. Anyway, there you go. Anime, lots and lots of things. Ideally, faces. 512 by 512 seems to work best. There you go. Anyway, play in Colab, download it and play with it yourself or play with it there on uh, Hugging Face Spaces as well. Anime Gan V2 PyTorch. Awesome. Rodent out.